Hi, I'm Chantastic, and you're joining us for day two of a series on Vim, a very entry-level series that I'm calling Vim Alphabet, because we're going from A to Z, with the exception of quit. I wanna make sure that you know how to get in and out of Vim without any trouble before we start anything else. Now, if you have a Mac, you can um, open up a terminal. I'm gonna be using the just default built-in terminal and uh, typing in the word Vim. Now, all of this is pre-configured on your Mac. It might be a later version or earlier version, but you should have Vim ready to go if you open up a terminal. Now, on other systems, I really don't know. I think like Linux and Linux might have VI, um, which is like a precursor to Vim. Um, you might need to install it with apt-get or however you get applications. And I don't know at all how you would do it on Windows. So I'm gonna assume that if you're using Windows, you have it figured out and you're already at the stage where you can open Vim. We've opened Vim and um, one thing that I always thought was particularly hilarious is that people have a hard time getting out of Vim because right up front, when you open Vim by itself, uh, it gives you this thing that says right up front, this is how you exit Vim. You type colon Q enter, that's how you exit. And if you need help, you say colon help enter. That'll take you to the help, but you can also do a um, term. So anyway, that is how you navigate your way into learning Vim. So we're just gonna start with colon Q, enter. Great, we got in and out of Vim. Awesome, we've already learned what we wanted to learn today. Now you can also get into Vim and open a new file. So if we give it a file name, it's going to create a buffer for a new file for us. And we can say, hello, how are you today? Now you'll note that I had to change modes um, to go into insert mode in order to type this text. Now um, we'll cover that in the next lesson, how to enter insert mode. Um, but today I just wanted to put some text in there to show you some other options for quitting. So I'm back in command mode. Now if I try to do colon Q, it's going to give me an error. It says no write since last change add bang to override or the exclamation point. If I want to leave Vim, I have to assert that I do not want to save these changes to this new file. Um, and I can do that and we can see that if we uh, type vim test.md again, it's going to be as if we created a new file because the last one never saved. So um, I'll type, I'm doing great. Again, I have to go to insert mode. Now this time I do want to save this into test. So I'm going to use another Vim command called write quit or WQ. That's for write and then quit. Now that will um, save my test.md file. I can uh, look at that. Uh, I'm doing great, perfect. So if you've ever tried to uh, add something, that's not gonna work. Git add um, and then git commit, you see this, you're like, where the heck am I? And uh, I wanna get out and I don't wanna do any of this. I wanna abort. Well, you do colon Q bang and that's gonna get you out um, without having committed anything, okay? So let's say you wanna do that again, uh, commit. Uh, it takes you into this commit screen, uh, commit the thing. Now we do wanna save it. So we're gonna say colon WQ for right, <laughs> right, <laughs> Right, quit. So we're gonna write and then we're gonna quit. Okay, now that made that commit. So Q exclamation point or Q bang is um, the way that you get out without making the change and uh, right quit is how you exit with making the change. I wanna show you one last thing. Uh, let's just open Vim. And if we ever have questions about what we can do with quit, we can use this help command. So we can type in the whole world word help or we can just type in H as a shorthand um, and we can say quit. So I want the help documentation on quit. Um, now you can navigate this with your arrows. You'll learn how to do that in a more Vim way soon, um, but you can navigate this with arrows too. So um, we can see that uh, we can do Q bang or we can optionally type in the quit word as a whole and bang and that'll still work. Um, we saw th there's a WQ which we learned about and WQ bang. So there's tons of ways to quit Vim. Uh, and if we want to quit this little pop-up display, get back to our file um, and again, quit. 
So explore how to quit Vim, explore how to get in and out of Vim. Um, you can m open multiple files, which I will leave that as an exercise to you. Um, so yeah, have fun getting in and out of Vim. Tomorrow we will start with the letter A. I don't know if that's the right direction for you, but A is the letter we're gonna start with. See you tomorrow.